Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, if it resonates. Green hearts, if you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. Let's see what comes out. Boy, look at here. This has been coming out in my last few reads. Nine of Swords energy. Somebody is going through it. Somebody is having anxiety. And let's see why. Um, anxiety. Yeah. Okay. So we have the Eight of Wands here. We have the Page of Swords here. We have the Six of Cups here. So nostalgia, of course, memories, right? The Page of, uh, page of Swords energy is having some type of clarity, but it also can be where you have a new idea or a thirst for knowledge or something like that, or you're curious. But um, the Eight of Wands energy <laughs> is just basically you letting your, you're letting yourself know that there has to be some type of change because of the anxiety that's happening. Queen of Cups energy is our energy empathy. Yeah, so um, empathy, but the Queen of Cups can also be um, compassionate and calming at the same time of comfort. So you could be comforting a situation um, when it comes to you having to walk away and knowing that the past is causing some type of anxiety. So remember, I always tell you that the past causes fear and the future causes anxiety. But at this point, you're looking over at walking away because you're seeing yourself go through all of this turmoil when it comes to either mending the past, Six of Cups energy, um, or nostalgia from the past or some type of childhood innocence or something of the sort but it's causing you everybody is looking this way this is a, a child wondering and trying to play out what's going on and um you are queen of cups energy looking over at why you're going through this so we're going to go ahead and clarify um all of these cards sorry i'm watching I'm not really watching it. It's watching me, but I couldn't turn it down when I started my actual uh, video, but it's suits. I like suits. But anyway, the Nine of Swords energy is what we're going to go ahead and clarify. Also, the Eight of Wands and the Page of Swords and the Six of Cups to see what is causing anxiety here. A card tried to turn over, but it didn't. So what is causing you anxiety is uh, Two of Pentacles energy, making a decision. Um, there's children here. There's a seesaw making a decision in regards to walking away from a Knight of Swords type energy or Knight of Swords energy says, be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a single-minded determination. So whatever it is that you're, you're going after, you have to be tough about making the decision of Page of Swords energy, the Ace of Swords, having clarity. <laughs> well, we got the Page of Swords clarifying the Ace of Swords, uh, excuse me, the, the, ace of swords clarifying the page of swords and um the ace of swords energy again like i said in the beginning it's having some type of mental clarity or some type of um idea that you're looking at and again you're curious and you're ready to explore but this could be you exploring your childhood or this could be something that's causing anxiety from your childhood that you're afraid to walk away from and do the work or explore your feelings or emotions, yeah, and recognize your strengths. Um, the strength card here comes out, and also the Queen of Swords energy. A lot of air energy here. So um, I don't know. You could be dealing with an air sign, but again, the the decisions that you have to make when it comes to standing up from yourself and uh, your empathetic nature, Queen of Swords energy is just letting you know that you know, you have to be unbiased and set boundaries and be clear about it, you know, uh, and be very direct. Queen of Swords energy says, um, where is it at? Oh, stand up for yourself. Always speak your mind. Don't take shit from anyone. The Queen of Cups energy says uh, someone who makes everyone feel uh, important looks through their eyes and makes them feel understood. So if you are um, basically having anxiety about past energies, you're going to be okay until you're not, until it's time for you to walk away. Eight of Wands energy, when it's time for you to look at things from a different perspective and move forward, you have to make a decision and, and be tough about it and also have the clarity that you need and the strength that you need. And that is when the Queen of Swords always shows her face. They say that 
when um, cancers are like um, uh, Sour Patch Kids, you know, like we, not Sour Patch, yes, yeah, the Sour Patch Kids, but, you know, we're, we're sweet. Well, it says sweet on the outside uh, or sweet on the inside and sour on the outside is what I say. But, you know, basically when it's time for us to go into that mode of, you know, um, just blunt saying what we mean, saying what we need and going from there, you know, it's because we did a whole lot of hermit energy of soul searching. And now it's time for us to make a decision that either could hurt or make us tougher. And so. Um, that is kind of how I see that. I'm going to go ahead and pull. This is the Panther Oracle, P-A-N-T-H Oracle, to see what comes out. There's one card here, savings, yeah. This could be you getting a hold of your finances, making a decision to do that. Or a card fell on the floor, and I got to use my foot to get it. Hold on. Without bending it. Hold on. Yeah. So this is you, it says libation, but this is you, you know, uh, soul searching, changing your beliefs in regards to how you preserve your energy, you know, savings. Uh, and also it says meanness. So how you, yeah, it says that that's basically it, a decision on how you're giving to people. And again, um, libation, it means, you know, it says religion, donations, and, and um, pray on how you are able to pull your energy back and mean is here collections not give all of your 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 savings to um a situation and so therefore you have to be able to make that decision yeah and it says readiness but if this is you being not being ready yet and this is why you're having the anxiety because you know the task that's at hand withdrawal so yeah you know the task that's at hand quit awakening and rejection is here and so this is why the queen of swords shows up when we have to make these decisions to change how we do things especially on who we give to this could be childhood people this could be past energies of relationships situationships when any other time you would say yes but now you have to turn around and say no and so it's it's considered mean to a person it's like how you have to change what you believe in or what you've done in the past and that's the clarity that you have to have in order to be able to create and to set boundaries for yourself if that makes sense and so that's where the queen of swords shows up that air energy because you're going to have to withdraw your energy and withdraw from the way that you've done things in the past and see the beauty in every situation because you know deep down that it's causing anxiety and that you have to walk away from certain situations regarding the past, if that makes sense. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and pull from, this is the foreign love oracle just to see what comes out. This could be about love. This could be about a job, but you have to make a decision. And that's why the two of swords is here. You have to make a decision. Yeah. And ex learn to express yourself and accept what it is. The unforeseen forces that came out um, and learn. Yeah exposing the truth and expression and mirroring you have to make a decision on why you can't mirror this person you have to get up and stand up and expose people excuse me for who they are and express yourself this is the queen of um, swords energy again um with the queen of swords it's just basically like i say set direct boundaries you know and not care about the judgment that you're going to have you might have to expose a few people but this is the thing that you had to learn from the past and the unforeseen forces are what is going to happen after the fact that you do this and withdraw your energy from people. And that's a hard thing to do, but that's a part of ascending. And I'm going to pull from the ascending uh, life oracle to see what comes out and go from there. But yeah, you have to learn those lessons of being stern and, you know, sometimes be considered, yeah. Because, see, at some point you feel the anxiety is because you know you're going to have to move mountains. Mountains came in the reverse, meaning that, you know, when the obstacles happen, you know, there's going to be delays and things like that. But that's a part of moving a mountain and also standing up for yourself and understanding why you need to. Fluidity and then anger. Yeah, you're going to ruffle a couple of feathers, but you have to be able to be teachable and have a keep an open mind. and 
not just really go with the flow because that's what you've been doing. So people are going to be angry because you're going to start getting to the point to where you're moving mountains and you're not going with the flow and they, it's going to be a renewal. You're going to mirror the way that they treat you basically. Um, and that's sometimes people say no to you and you're always be saying yes. And so again, you have to be able to understand it says you feel you've been wronged, arguments, disagreements, temper, ego clash, pent up anger. So a lot of the things when it comes to the queen of swords, she's going to show who she really is. But by exposing the truth, people are going to be angry and the unforeseen forces, they're going to be like, what happened to cancer? Cancer used to go with the flow. But the acceptance is that you can't move mountains by being so nice. And so that's when the Queen of Swords shows her face. Um, when it's time for a renewal, it says powerful inner transformation, leave old claims, embrace the new release of, uh, of energy and emotions playing with fire. So that's when the emotions start to change. Your energy starts to change when you start doing things for your betterment and people don't like that and they become angry because you've decided to, yeah, be impeccable with your word, you know, and that is you expressing yourself no matter what by respectfully not doing it um, in a certain way. Hold on, this is my cousin. Okay, so yeah, um, you know, it says let go. So be impeccable with your word. That was my little cousin. Um, let go of your self-judgment and blame. It says, be impeccable. You take uh, being impeccable. You take responsibility for your actions, but you don't. You do not judge or blame yourself for anything. So the renewal is coming. With people are going to be angry. You're going to be exposing the truth. You're going to be seeing what it is that you want. You're going to pull back your energy. You're going to change your belief systems, and you're going to start moving mountains and not going with the flow. That renewal is people going to feel like you're playing with fire and the release of energy and emotions are going to happen. And that's coming because you're withdrawing from a situation. So that's kind of how I see that. Now I'm going to pull from the crystal deck and then we're going to let the old energy go. Hold on one second. I got to get it. I have my microphone sitting right, right, literally right here. And my deck is right there. My crystal deck is right there too. And I keep hitting my microphone. All right. I keep hitting my microphone with my elbow when I'm shuffling. But anyway, so we have the steel bite. It's the crown and the heart chakra. And it says higher consciousness, spiritual vibrations, and universal love. So the crown and the heart chakra. I easily travel to realms of higher energetic vibrations. And that's what you're going to have to learn because, and maybe that's what the fluidity is, is that staying flexible and adaptable and keeping an open mind because, you're being teachable by learning how you're going to ruffle feathers in order for you to be able to get out of this anxiety. And that's the learning that you have to do in order to move the mountains that you need to move, if that makes sense. And so let's go ahead. And if you want to know my perspective on the crystal decks, which is the uh, chakras and also the four agreements, I'll put the link above you guys. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.